Hi, Pisces. My what a sign, Pisces. What is up and what is good with y'all? So these cards have flew out of the deck as I was pre-shuffling. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, you guys. I am going to be doing your no contact, no communication, separation, love reading for October 2022. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. If this reading does not resonate with you, do not take it personally. Check out your other Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus uh, videos here, okay? Or wherever the videos may interest you. Wherever, I, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're interested in booking a private personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box down below. So let's get into this. So I'm seeing the Chariot card come up, okay? Which is Cancer Energy. So I feel like there's some movement here between you and someone you're connecting with there's full movement there's victory i feel like you're overcoming some obstacles here right you're very determined to get to a goal with this person you know get things moving forward take control of this situation but i feel like <clears throat> with this five of pentacles here taurus uh, virgo capricorn energy this person feels left out in the cold here you know abandoned and neglected by you okay i feel like um or this could be you right who's feeling abandoned and neglected here right and i feel like this person is feeling this way because you know someone here refuses to make a decision okay now i feel like that could be your person libra energy you could be torn between two relationships or someone here is okay this could be a libra but what I'm seeing is, you know, someone is feeling left out there's a, and there's a stalemate between the two of you. Um, someone in, someone here is sitting on the fence about a decision, a difficult decision. This is a stressful decision, a painful decision. And I feel like somebody's not ready to make this decision here, whatever this is. Somebody is being faced with basically facing their fears here. Okay, and I do feel like um, somebody is very focused on negative emotions, feeling like the world is against them right now, okay? Because the star is at the bottom of the deck. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, yeah, but this person sees you as someone that is their star, their wish. Someone they have hope and faith that they can heal things, mend things, and work things out with. You know, this is someone that um, wants to heal things with you. This is someone who sees you as someone that's very special to them. Okay, you may be a nurse or have some healing energy, or this person does. All right, but I feel like, you know, you're not making it easy for this person. With the Nine of Swords here, Gemini energy, yeah. Somebody is very stressed out, feeling burdened and overwhelmed, really at their breaking point here. Okay, somebody is like really feeling some fear some anxiety and i feel like whoever you're connecting with okay there's some regret and some remorse here okay i feel like someone is focusing on the past here maybe something happened in the past between you two and someone is focusing on that there's confusion here or somebody doesn't understand like why they've been ghosted because i feel like pisces for some of y'all Y'all may have um, moved forward here, okay, and left someone out in the cold. Now, this person, you may have ghosted them or broke up with them, but somebody definitely got blocked right here. Whether they blocked you or you blocked them, somebody got blocked, all right? So now I feel like there is some confusion here. And somebody is really like afraid and worried that you have your options open and that you're treating them as an option because the Seven of Cups showed up at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what else is showing up here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is not over. If you, if this person blocked you or if you ghosted them or broke up with them, left them out in the cold, abandoned or neglected them or whatever the case is, okay, I feel like... This person is, is worried that you won't give them this apology. I feel like they are having sleepless nights. They are unable to sleep. They're overthinking here. They're in their head. This person is going through it. Okay. And I feel like 
with this Knight of Cups Scorpio energy. Hmm. This person wants you to take action towards them or this is something that they're going to do. I feel like they're going to be so stressed out and worried that someone else may come in and make you an offer. So I feel like this person is going to come in. This is a romantic proposal coming in. This person is going to apologize to you and tell you that they're sorry. Or make some sort of romantic gesture to you. Okay. Hmm. But it's something about this offer that you don't trust Pisces with the seven of swords here. Or this is your person. They don't trust you. There's some deceit. Some lies. I feel like somebody was lying about their feelings. About their emotions. Okay, maybe someone is being dishonest about their feelings or their emotions. Maybe someone is cheating. It could be a third party situation going on here. I feel like somebody um, may have been watching and spying on you. Stalking. Strategizing a plan of action. Okay, I feel like, you know, they are planning planning and strategizing on how to come towards you and offer you this apology but i feel like there is something here about it that you don't trust with the seven of swords aquarius energy why is the seven of swords showing up for you may be trying to make a break for it on pisces and run away from this person yeah because they just too damn toxic with the devil showing up capricorn energy okay yeah, this person, for some of you, this person was in a full-blown relationship somewhere else because the devil is showing up here. Okay, this person has um, maybe a mental health issue or some ego issues, depression. Maybe this person um, has an addiction to sex, smoking, drinking, whatever the case is. Yeah, but somebody here is operating from a very low vibrational energy because there's a liar here or there's something that you don't trust about this person and it's, it's something toxic there's some sort of toxic energy looming over you guys is connection and you feel powerlessness you feel hopelessness okay yeah someone is really struggling here with the ten of wands sagittarius energy Someone is stressed out. I feel like this person is obsessed with you and they're stressed out. They're burdened. Okay. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, this person is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else. They have like responsibilities somewhere else. But I feel like even though this person is stressed out and there's problems here okay i feel like they're gonna reach out to you because some of you you feel taken for granted and that's why this person is blocked anyway so i feel like they're going to find a way to reach out to you okay with the page of pentacles they're gonna make you some sort of an offer okay um to start something with you or work on something with you but i feel like they can't it's very hard for them to offer you what you want them to offer you because they can't offer you that much right now with this Scorpio energy. But they want you to see that they are, they are someone that you can count on. <laughs> I feel like when this offer comes in, this person is going to be guarded. They're going to have to make a decision, okay, between two paths, two, uh, two relationships. Someone is detached or withdrawn from you because they're very um, guarded or this is you showing up as very guarded and detached from this person. I feel like this person is conflicted within about something more stable, something more solid with you. Why is this page of pentacles here? Is this relationship over between Pisces and their person? 
Mm. Be careful. Um, the King of Cups is in the reverse. So I feel like this person is only looking out for themselves. This person is emotionally unstable. You're connecting to someone who is a con artist or a con man. Someone who's emotionally unavailable here. Someone who gives bad advice. Someone who's a fraud. Okay, someone who's, who's scheming and plotting. Yeah, this is someone that is... um emotionally manipulative and they very secretive i hope this is not you pisces because the pisces um energy is showing up here this may be a cancer someone could be hiding like a family or a marriage or there's a secret family or a secret marriage or i feel like this person is hiding their feelings from you they're all up in their feelings because you know, you make them very happy, Pisces, and they see a life with you. They see marriage. They see a family. They see a home. They see a long-term relationship, stability, security with you, you know. But I feel like this person is holding back because of that. Okay, you're trying to be strong and get through this. Six of Cups is coming through. So somebody is reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. They do miss you. Or this is you. I feel like with this Six of Cups, somebody here does want to come back and reconcile with you. Okay, they want forgiveness for their past wrongdoings here in the past. Here, injustice is showing up. So somebody definitely wants forgiveness for their wrongdoings in the past. I feel like somebody wants to bring uh, balance, truth, and, and clarity into the connection here. I feel like this person wants to do things the right way here. Okay. So whether that's you or this person. This person is wanting to bring justice to you. They want to bring balance and fairness um, to the connection. They want to be fair with you. Okay. You may be connecting to a Leo. But I do feel like this person. You know. They make you very happy. Or you make them super happy here. I feel like right now, someone is trying to work on becoming the best version of themselves. Someone is doing some soul searching here, um, gaining some spiritual enlightenment, some introspection, you know, really looking for their, searching for their inner man of wisdom and guidance, really looking in, um, inward and seeing what type of role that they played in this connection here. Okay, and this person may have ghosted you or you may have ghosted this Leo here. They just want fairness and balance here, okay? And I feel like, yeah, you two may be at a distance from each other. This person has withdrawn their energy and has pulled their energy away from you. Um, this person has closed out a cycle with you. Or you closed out this cycle and, and you completed this cycle here. I do feel like this person is at a distance from you. The Three of Pentacles is here. So there's a third party situation that's being closed out. Okay, whether you're the third party or you're closing out a situation with a third party. This person is very upset with you because you stabbed them in the back, betrayed them, or they did this to you. There's a lot of love that this person has for you. Hmm. So when I asked would this person contact you, it said yes, but the King of Cups was in the reverse. So I feel like whoever this is, um, they may try to be manipulative. Yeah, this person needs to make a decision between two paths or two minds. I feel like this person here does not know if they want to move forward in this connection with you here. Okay, they feel like there is something better out there for them or this. You feel like this... You know, but uh, the answer is maybe, you know, um, this person is needing to decide if they are, um, it's, they need to immigrate suddenly if they're going to leave or deciding if they want to stay or if they want to go. Maybe someone left like all of a sudden, 
okay? But I feel like you're waiting and anticipating. This person is detached and withdrawn from you, yeah, because they're, they're very sad because there's a choice between two. There's another lover, there's someone else. Yeah, this person is sad here. Whoever's at a distance from you, I do feel like they have regrets and remorse here, okay? For adding in another lover or someone, but I feel like they want to, they're choosing you, Gemini energy. They want to be with you, but there is a choice between two. There's a soulmate connection here, Pisces, and this person knows that you choose soulmate um, connection is very spiritual. Yeah, so I feel like this person, they feel like they're at a loss, okay? Because they lost a soulmate, they lost the connection, they lost someone that they love. Oh, this is you. But I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Now, like, as I stated, this person is at a distance from you, okay? I do see messages coming in. Even though someone is blocked here, some sort of way, this person is going to reach out to you. Okay, they want to speak to you. I feel like these are passionate messages coming in here. All right, so let's see who this person is at the bottom of the deck. This is a past connection, a past love that's coming back in, or this is you coming back in towards this person. This is destiny, okay? This is fate. This was meant to happen right here, okay? And I feel like, yeah, see, this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate who you're dealing with, okay? You may be dealing with an older man or this person is mature for their age. Let's see. But there is distance between you two. I do feel like this soulmate has distanced themselves from you. Yeah, short term. Something is short-lived for you and this person, this connection here, okay? Because someone is keeping their options open. There's a lot of hands out there want to date this person and they're, they're controlling the situation here. But I feel like somebody is being released. And they're taking back control of something that lost control here. And someone has been blocked. I do feel like there's obstacles here. Okay. And I do feel like there is some delays with this person coming forward. Okay. Because I, I did state that someone here does not want to move forward in this connection. This could be you or this person. You may be dealing with a fair male, a lighter male. You may be, you know, um, just light skin or um, Swedish or Caucasian here. Okay. Let's see what else is coming in for you, Pisces. Yeah. See, fair male is showing up right here. Okay. Caucasian, Swedish or African. Yeah, the blocks are you may have a family here. Okay, yeah, there is a third party situation. Like I was telling y'all, somebody needs to make a choice or decision between two. Okay, there may be some gossip or talk about this third party situation or third party or whatever this is. But this is a crowded relationship. I feel like this person, you know, they're showing up as a time waster to me. Because um, they have their options open. They're talking to multiple people. And they may have a family already. <clears throat> For some of y'all, y'all see yourself having a family with this person. But there's a choice that needs to be made between two people here. And I feel like there's some gossip about it. So thank you guys. That is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Do me that favor if you want to see me do more readings like this. If you like this reading, if it resonates with you. If you want to see me do 18 plus tarot or any other readings for you guys. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye Pisces. I'll see y'all in the next reading.